We've been having, for this entire week, visits from the cast of Isita, the enemy, throughout the week. Now, today we're joined again by two actors from the show that are going to tell us a little bit more about the show. I'm talking about the one and only Zamani Mbata and Tomani Nzuza. It is a Feel Good Friday, so we're going to switch things up a little bit as we're talking about the show. But first, gents, good morning. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you for so much for having us, man. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I'm already looking at you thinking a decon is sitting here, a businessman is sitting here. These two worlds, um, I'm not sure about it. But I, I maybe want to hear from you. How, how's your excitement level for the storyline of Isita, the enemy? You know, when you read the script the first time mm. and you realize, yo, yo, yo. Especially for you, Tabani. Yeah. You know? I mean, you're seeing your role. I'm not sure if you've played any character like this, like Muruti, you know. <laughs> what are you thinking then when you see not just a pastor, but a pastor who's up to yeah, it's, questionable it's, things? It's nice to have an opportunity to play, to do things that we mostly do in theatre, where you have to jungle in two roles, because I'm playing a straight guy who is a family man and also a streetwise gangster who's also uncontrollable and also living double side life mm. with a wife, <laughs> with a makopeni, yeah, 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 with a yeah, brother, yeah, yeah. with yeah, also yeah. him trying to prove himself in the community, in his family. And he's been known as a deacon, but mm. now he comes back resurrected from the dead as something else. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's great to, to have an opportunity to play because we yeah. want that as actors to be challenged. Yeah, no, definitely. Mm. This must be some sort of a challenge because I think it's it's not uh, something that you can mirror from society yeah. per se. So you have to mm. kind of find it in yourself. Yeah. But Zamani, I mean, your character as well. I mean, you, yeah. you're deep into business, but also there's this redemptive thing that you, the character is trying to say and trying to change and gain some sort of uh, just look at me differently yeah. type of a thing, <laughs> so to say. What were your thoughts when you went through uh, your, your script and you seen the character development of your character? I mean, it triggered uh, a, a very important um, saying that says, Everyone's a killer, you just gotta push them to the limit. Mm. And I feel like for my character, that's where I actually, when I read the script, I was like, oh, oh my God, it's about to go down. Because <laughs> I feel like we're going there now. Because the whole time he's been a family guy, he's been doing stuff to like, obviously like he's been sacrificing all his life and just because like, it's like, okay, cool, I'll do whatever for my family. So I feel like when it got to a point where it got to now, it actually triggered where it's like, actually, you know what? I don't care what anybody thinks, mm. including my family and the community and everyone else and even the love of my life. I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm just going to do what I feel is good and what I feel needs to be done. Eish. So I feel like that's where the character is now. He's like, he's, you can't control him, you can't contain him because it's mm. like, you never know what to expect of him. Yeah. So I think that's another thing that people, I don't think they're ready for. Yo, I know, wait, okay, I want to switch things up because we've taken this formal interview route the whole week, right? Yeah. And I'm going to ask you some random questions, a game that we're going to play. I've got <laughs> questions in here, a little bit of them relating to the show, a little bit of them also bringing us into your, your yourself with this character. So, yeah. Tobani, I'm going to start with you, right? Uh, let me take a random one. Let's take this one over here that says, explain the plot of the show in three words. <laughs> in three words. In three words. Uh, huh. Dark. Yo. Uh, drama. Yay. Uh, love. Roman. Dark. Drama. Love. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that is that is that is quite the plot, I must say. Mm. Switching it up completely because no one really knows what to expect with yeah. these three words. Uh, but you spoke about Makwapeni, so I guess we're getting a bit of a picture. <laughs> Let me bring it to you, Zamani. <laughs> uh, I've got this one. Who's the funniest person in the cast in real life? Do I? <laughs> 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 oh, so this guy's the jokes that I said. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think because it's 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 we get, we get, we get the jokes. Like we, we just, we, we have inside jokes that no one could. I think you just have to be from Durban sometimes yeah. to get what we are talking about. So I feel like because of that, yeah, it's him. And most of the time, we really can't take out. Like we really, it's like we get in those moments where it's like, okay, let's 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 be serious. Like, let's be serious. See how short and then, then he twists And then one. it's like face to face, and I'm like, nah. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, Mr. Jokes, I've got another one for you. Then let me go with this one over here. Um, how important is developing a personal style when it comes to acting? Personal style. Uh, most of the time, for me personal, I've 
most of the characters is people I've seen in my community. So mm. it's never been that much of a challenge. Yeah. And besides, with the training and everything, you are able to indulge in each and every gym that you are giving mm. as an actor. And also, it's just you uh, going, doing research, actually. Yeah. Yeah, trying to find, find, trying to find the soul, the joys, the happiness, the sadnesses of the of the role. But however, in all the in all in all, all in all the researches, in each and every character, there must be you. Mm. You mm. must find yourself in that role so that you are able to execute it in a way that is believable to the community. Sure, I love how you also highlighted how it's things that you've seen in your community, so you're mm. absorbing as you go around mm. with that character in mind. Okay, Zabadi, let's go for another one. I'll go for this one over here. It's a little bit long, but anyway. <laughs> every industry, including the entertainment industry, is full of competition. What do you do to stand out amidst competition? I think with, with because I know how far I've come and I know how far I'm still going, and I know my goal, mm. and I believe that God gives you a start and an end. And then you, the process, if you trust in him and if you put everything in him, then you will never see yourself in competition with anyone. Mm. Then you will then see yourself in your own lane, your own pace, and it's your own race. Mm. And I feel like it's the one thing that I've been saying like around, I'm like, that is like, People know about a lot of things, but they don't know how to be about a lot of things. Mm. Like that one thing, you know? So I feel like for myself, um, more than anything, I don't see it as competition. I actually see it as, if I see that he's, a, he's much of a louder and a better performer, I'm like, yo, how do you, how do you, this smart, yeah, you have yeah. to learn. How do you shout? Like with the, recently he told me something, it's like, you, you don't shout with your throat, you shout with your chest and your stomach. And I said, mm. what? They said, yeah, you, and then you shout. Mm. And then after that, I stopped having like problems of burning my voice and then, and then, and so it's all things of like learning. I don't yeah. think I ever see anyone as competition because I've always se. known that there's always going to be a new me every day. Yeah. But there's yeah. a new me every day, there's a new you every day, there's a new you every day, there's a new person every day. So you just got to stick to your own stuff and being in that space of different people with different ways that they do it invites you to new versions of you by tapping yeah. into what they're really good at and not seeing it as competition yeah. that is actually very insightful yeah. gentlemen all the best for isita i think it's going to be fantastic i'm looking forward to this unfolding because yeah 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 <laughs> dark drama love yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this, this man. it sounds like it's going to be a lot but thank yeah. you so much and all the best for the run out of the, the show well, thank you thanks for having us and that's where we wrap it up to ms family that was zaman Mbata as well as toban and zuza from evot isita the enemy make sure to watch it on evot from the 22nd of may and of course you don't want to miss out all the dark drama and love that is twisted out in there